on 454 out of the book. Uh, here after setup, go ahead and drew it out for you. Uh, show the shear in a moment here in a second. Uh, we have hinges in the middle, so we go ahead and break it up from there. Uh, our first free body diagram is from D to E. So I went ahead and drew the free body. Uh, first, I'll do the sum of forces in the X. There's only one force acting in the X direction, so it equals zero. Uh, next, I did moments from E. So moments from E equals zero. Uh, clockwise is positive. You got your DY times your eight feet. And you got your triangular loading, which is your area of one half times 150 times eight times your times the force acting down here, which is two thirds times eight. Uh, figure that out, it comes to be dy equals 400 pounds. And you do your sum of your forces in your y. You got your 400 acting up plus your ey plus your triangular loading acting down, and ey equals 200. That, take care of, that takes care of that free body. Next we'll go to the middle section. So that's from span B to D. Uh, again, uh, sum of forces in the X uh, equals zero. Your DX is zero, so your DX has to be zero. Uh, took the sum of the moments from point B, that equals zero. You got your uh, DY, which is your 400 times your 10 feet acting away from B minus your CY times four, which is four feet away from B. And your CY comes to be 1,000. Next, you sum of forces in the Y equals zero. You got your negative 400 from your DY, your 1,000 from your CY, minus your VY, because your VY is acting down, and your VY is 600 pounds. The last free body diagram uh, spans from A to B. And start out again with some of the forces equals x, or some of the forces in the x direction equals zero. Your bx is zero, so your ax has to be zero. Then you do some of your moments about a. Uh, of course, you have your moment about a plus your 600 by times your eight feet minus your 200, which is your uh, force acting down times eight times four, which four is the point in the middle. Uh, figure that out, your MA becomes to be 1,600 pounds per foot, pound times foot. And then you do your sum of your forces in the Y. You have your AY acting up, so it's positive, plus your BY, which is 600 acting up, minus your total load acting down, which is 200.